I'm here with the Sony ZV-1F and this is a great camera for vlogging so you can click this out so you can see yourself while you're filming yourself which is pretty neat and uh, a very handy feature here and it also has a very very cool lens here designed Tessar which is an essential feature here for getting those high quality images and it's very small and lightweight so you can easily take this with you and start vlogging now the book you get with it is quite extensive there are a lot of settings in here so it can be quite difficult to get the right ones for your particular setup so i do a lot of vlogging here in my studio and also take this along with me so i have my one camera here, the Panasonic Lumix, it's a DSLR camera and then I use this one for those additional shots or if I want to take something with me. So I always have one set up right on my face with a quite a close up and this one has a little bit of a wider shot uh, for like when I'm doing like guitar videos or something like that. So let's look at the quality compared to the Lumix right here. Now I have this set up here next to my DSLR camera. Let's change a few of the settings. So this is very handy because you have a cool touch screen here. You can change all of your uh, things right from here. You can change all of these settings and make it a little wider or a little narrower. So this looks more like the settings that I have on the, uh, on the DSLR. So a little bit of a better comparison here. So you can see here the screen of the DSLR and here of the Sony. So now let's go into the menu and change some of these settings here so you can change the file format especially if you're going outside this is HD let's change it to 4k so you also have 4k when you're shooting of course you have to have a little bit of a larger SD card if you're doing that but I'm connecting it right to my computer right now so I can record this and vlog right from my studio Get the ISO as low as possible here. Okay, now I have low ISO, 125, and I set the aperture quite low so I can get a focus on me and then a little blurry background. So this is closer to the settings I have on the DSLR. Okay, so this is me talking with the DSLR camera, and now let's switch to the Sony. And this is me talking with the Sony ZV-1F. So there's a little bit of a difference here, especially in the aperture and uh, background focus so I still have a lot of background here with the uh, Sony that's because of the lens of course um, but still it's pretty great and there's a little bit more color here you can make minor adjustments but I think it's a little bit too orangey my face right now but overall the quality is very very good so I'm really happy about this result here <laughs> overall this thing is pretty easy to work with and you don't want to hassle too much when you're vlogging because well you want to take this with you create cool shots uh, in an instant and don't worry about the settings too much so you have all of these auto options but it's pretty cool that you can set uh, things like the aperture iso and uh, a lot of options here right from the device you have touch screen which works really really well because it's not that large of a screen but it didn't have any problem touching the right uh, points you have a little scroll wheel here to make selecting a lot easier so that's pretty cool you can connect this through usb to your computer to live stream with this which is what i'm using a lot these days for like those second shots but this is perfect for like a main camera as well i just like the depth a little bit better from the dslr with that lens you have this standard screw wire here so you can mount this on your tripods and any camera device really and you can even connect this with your phone to through bluetooth so you can uh, transfer your files very very easily but there are also some bluetooth remote controls so you can uh, like take photos or start your recording right from your phone so that's pretty cool as well so it's really, really flexible and a great vlogging camera